Welcome back to Parapod. Um, yeah, this is the newest uh, design of our Peach Pod. Uh, Peach Pod. Okay. Um, we made some suggestions, uh, and Yang uh, did some modification. Um, uh, there's still, uh, you know, some area that need to be uh, fine tuned, uh, but uh, mainly uh, it's there, right? Basically. This is a, just a schematic, actually. This is a guiding design, right? Whoever is doing the design, actually, there's a lot of practical uh, issues, right? Because once once you, you know, actually doing it, right? Make it, uh, and then, and, and <laughs> using it, and then you know uh, what need, 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 need to be, uh, yeah, modified. Yeah. Anyway, so as you can see, uh, we hide the bottom. We hide the bottom uh, with uh, with a surface. Okay, so basically, uh, you can see this is a surface. Uh, this surface represent uh, the ground, the grid. Okay, and could also mean the surface of uh, of your patio uh, deck, right? Uh, the yeah deck surface so anyway so if it's in the case of deck so you are just hiding the soap uh, uh, reservoir uh, underneath the, the deck right but uh, there's another another uh, installation or another way to build it it's just simply dug right dug into the soil and then place this uh, tank in the soil okay and uh, and then uh, you, you know this is simply the above surface area uh, okay and uh, and also uh, we see that the um, young made the modification so that uh, there's a pump there's a vertical hose vertical uh, pipe actually uh, and then this there's an inline pump you know fastened to the bottom of the grow bed and um, and then then you know this uh, pipe sticking uh, down to the uh, the center actually slightly off center it should be here it should be here this is the center anyway so um, yeah this um, pipe uh, basically it's a suction pipe right so the pump uh, pump water and this pipe suck uh, the fish pool at the bottom uh, because of the sloping you know this special sloping and the fish poop will stay here at the lowest point of the fish tank right so and this uh, and this uh, this uh, pipe, uh, suction pipe, will be uh, just simply doing the suction uh, uh, operation and then suck the fish pool together with fish water to the top, um, and uh, and then through um, uh, uh, you know a horizontal pipe and then just feed, uh, move the water to the center, and this thing is spinning. The whole thing is spinning actually. The uh, top grow bed, the lower grow bed, together with this vertical pipe and horizontal pipe, this, um, yeah, uh, this uh, uh, pumping system, right? Uh, then uh, it's the whole thing is moving. Uh, because it's moving, so this pipe it actually is sweeping the, sweeping the lowest floor, right, in the fish tank. So clean up all the fish pool yeah, automatically, and uh, um, there are here this uh, horizontal pipe. I think it's too low um, because there should be sand. We didn't draw the sand, uh, uh, so actually this is the bottom. Yeah. Um, so then, uh, but the other thing uh, I suggest to still have a gutter. Uh, this way it works, but. The problem is um, this is a powerful pump, right? Because you need to lift the water from the bottom uh, of the fish tank up to this level. 
so it uh, has to be you know, a relatively powerful pump. So because of that, uh, the, the water coming out is uh, uh, powerful too. So if it just drop, uh, directly hitting the sand surface will create a, you know, create a, you know, a, a deep hole, right? So uh, for that reason, we suggest to still have a gutter, you know, uh, not a deep gutter, just a shallow gutter. So the water, you know, hit the bottom um, of the gutter, you know, won't create a problem, and then spread all over, right? Because it's a horizontal gutter, it's round, and um, so and the and the water over over spill over fill, right? Overflow uh, out of the rim, and then um, everywhere around, you know, got uh, water, you know, so. Um, that's the idea um, yeah so that's uh, way what we suggest so there's some minor uh, adjustment and also uh, in this design uh, Yang shows the steps um, okay steps to, so using the steps and open up this latch door and uh, it this this door will swing up open okay and so there may there will be some mechanism I mean some detailed design but this is just show the idea right and uh, then then you can stand on the top of this step uh, stairs and then to take care of the plan on the upper uh, carousel and this is a carousel because the whole thing spin and then um, then uh, also the uh, the vegetable um, uh, grow on this uh, lower grow bed and also we suggest uh, we need to meet another time uh, to uh, design a uh, better design of the fish um, system um, uh, so that uh, there's a way to actually open the door and then we can um, uh, open a, a latch door uh, so there's a certain part of this lower grow bed that is no, there's no sand, okay? So basically there's an access uh, door, access uh, uh, place, uh, you know, simply lift up the floor uh, and then you can feed the fish and then even catch the fish, right? And there's also other mechanism to um, separate the fish, you know, using uh, a certain type of net, right, uh, to separate them so that the small fish can go through the holes uh, of, of the net and every, everywhere, but the big fish can only get to certain point. So this way, um, using food as the the guide, we can guide the fish they automatically separate them uh, uh, themselves uh, according to sizes. Uh, so this way, uh, you know, the the biggest fish will end up in the final place, which is you know we can just lift up and there's big fish you know got caught you know, <laughs> right? It's uh, still have some space, right? They uh, they can still swim there, and because the whole thing is 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 moving. Even the net is moving, right? Even the net is moving, so creating uh, some kind of a current, right? A water current, right? Because when when the net is moving, the whole thing, the, the fish has to move, has to move, uh, you know, with it. So and this way it create a movement. So the fish has to move to to swim, um, and in order to keep up the the movement. Uh, so anyway. Um, so this is the, um, uh, the that's we we'll need another session on another two sessions. Yeah, that's a different uh, a detail, more detail than design. So anyway, so this um, yeah, this the bottom could be the opening. You know, the the, the bottom edge should be slightly above the the, the top step. So, and also um, the. The top, uh, you know, where the the 
the latch this is a latch door right where the hinges are should be um, uh, should be below this uh, this line this uh, you know there's a cap there's a hat actually see this is the line so this door has to be below it right but anyway that's a practical issue that's uh, whoever uh, you know making this uh, then they need to consider uh, or um, they you can have a mechanism to you know every time you open the latch door you raise up the cap right and then the whole thing yeah the whole thing will swing up right uh, and then when you close the door this thing drop and to close the gap right to close the gap so there's a uh, you know there's uh, other things you should consider right but do you really want to uh, raise up the uh, the hat every time you open the door yeah that's uh, we need to make a decision right but that's a uh, you know that's a you know design I mean pra practical uh, issue right when we actually uh, this is a guidance for the for the uh, actual design uh, we just give you the idea give you the yeah the 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 the, uh, the design uh, uh, factors uh, so um, anyway that's uh, that um, and then uh, I, I like to quickly show um, the other scenes we, we like to show we want to cut use a surface cut uh, uh, vertically um, so you can see what is inside Let's go to the first scene. Uh, this one we show the uh, horizontal surface uh, cut um, vertically, uh, and then we see the um, this area would be the fish tank. Uh, and imagine the fish tank is in a kind of a flat donuts uh, yeah, shape. It's uh, you know the three D right. The two D we see like an egg right. And then uh, this is the the bottom of the egg, um, but in three D in real situation, it's a it's a it's a body of water surrounded, right? Surrounded the this vertical uh, duck, yeah. And this is the bottom uh, water. That's the soap reservoir. So fish water, uh, soap uh, soap water, right? separated um, so that um, the um, yeah uh, the fan blow air into this closed chamber and then there's a uh, opening at the end uh, that's the screen uh, and then the uh, there will be another pump uh, we didn't show another pump will pump water you know from soap tank and then you know and, and then then feeding there will be a line feeding from here uh, and then um, um, either this way or yeah this way probably so and then then uh, you know uh, and then a spray head right the, the soap liquid spray the uh, yeah the yeah the pump uh, give the pressure and the and the soap liquid is coming out from the spray head nozzle and then spray onto the screen and then the fan blow air in so we have bubbles so the bubbles will be produced first here and then ex keep expanding uh, filling all the uh, gap um, above the soap liquid um, and then there's nowhere to go but only to go up so the so the you know bubble will will see expand like this and then coming back right same thing around here everywhere is the same thing right and then because the fan move air from here to here so this is a negative pressure area and this is positive pressure zone okay so and then eventually the air, the, the bubble has to come here um, so basically you're gonna see once you totally fill this um, 
device um, is part and then you're gonna see the movement of bubbles you know move like this yeah so um, hold bubble crushed by the fan and and then um, yeah mix with uh, soap liquid and and blow out uh, again so new bubbles coming from always from the so new bubbles coming from here old bubbles got destroyed by the fan you know enter into the chamber here so that complete the full circuit the full cycle yeah okay and then we look at the second one second one we simply remove while well, hide the water uh, in the soap tank and we only show the fish water okay so the fish water yeah and then we see this pump uh, this inline pump with the yeah, hose pointing down and then pull water up and the, and this also shows the surface uh, sloping okay so you see the the obviously we need to raise up this uh, you know this pipe right so that higher you know and there should be a gutter here uh, but uh, you know uh, this yeah recognize yeah s watch this surface right this is higher place this is a lower place so the lower place that's the water exit and uh, and then so the water will drop onto the surface of the lower grow bed okay um, this we need to consider whether we use a longer uh, pipe to get closer to the surface or simply that's okay but with this mechanism we still need a gutter okay we still need a gutter because this gravity you know the water from above that's really powerful right if it's just hitting the sand surface it will create a hole and since it's moving it's not creating a hole creating a ditch right so for that reason we need another uh, big uh, gutter around right and the gutter is just simply protect this you know the sand you know the water impact and then uh, once the water enter into that gutter the water overflows from all sides right so this way similar to the small uh, ring gutter uh, this is a big ring yeah, big gutter ring. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, something we need to consider. Um, yeah, um, that's it. Uh, you know. Also, you notice the difference in the sloping. The bottom of the top grow bed slope uh, downward out. You know, from center to outside, but the inward. Uh, but the lower grow bed just the reverse right higher here lower here because this is the you know we want the water to flow this way and then the water coming out uh, from the inner uh, portion and so and then and through the uh, this inner wall right the, the wall of this uh, of towers um, then just enter into the fish tank yeah that's uh, what we uh, plan uh, because this way uh, if if the water will leave some mark um, and then the mark uh, won't affect the outside so the outside surface uh, re uh, remain relative um, and disturb right this this way I mean it's clear um, so Anyway, so that's uh, what we suggest. Um, yeah, um, that's it. Uh, this is the overall uh, view. Um, yeah, anyway, this represents the newest design of our polypod. Poly means polycarbonate. Uh, it means we're going to build uh, this type of uh, uh, pod using blow molding, uh, cast molding, uh, you know, easily create um, transparent um, yeah, uh, uh, shells you know, like this and, and it's double layer shell and and this way uh, yeah um, you know it's simple right and it's bulletproof 
and um, fireproof um, and it's transparent right and it's also strong you know, if you uh, when we cast or blow mode uh, the top and or cast the bottom we we have ways to increase its structure uh, depending where uh, need, need to be reinforced uh, so there will be uh, other practical, practical issues like reinforcement right uh, but that's uh, up to the engineer, up to the uh, whoever actually uh, doing that work, they will consider, right? Okay, that's it. Uh, so um, that explained the new um, design. Um, yeah, the, um, we're going to meet again uh, to um, uh, yeah, do some fine tuning uh, to this design. And also we need to build... Um, uh, 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 a better uh, fish uh, system, right? Uh, starting from the um, the um, what's the word? Uh, I mean, the small fish. You know, the, the we 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 need have a region that the male and female they can stay there and they can mate and then produce eggs. Um, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, the um, the right kind of egg, right? The the, the, the fish will can come out. Uh, so there will be nursery uh, area, um, uh, and then then uh, there will be a way to separate uh, small fish, you know, uh, from the big fish, uh, because in the fish tank uh, that always happen when the fish, if they're too hungry, the big fish might eat the small fish. So for that reason, we need to have a mechanism to prevent that, right? So, um, you know, using netting, you know, different uh, uh, different nets, uh, uh, net with different holes, right? And that way, we can um, separate the fish uh, according to sizes. Uh, and then the there's a mechanism, the big fish will enter into a final place that's the place we we uh, we can simply open up the lid and then catch the fish uh, because there's no way uh, no way return for big fish but there's always return escape holes uh, for the small fish so this way we can uh, you know uh, intelligently you know uh, set up a, 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 a fish uh, uh, you know aqua culture and, and, and uh, in this culture, in this system, everything is, uh, you know, planned, right? Everything is designed, uh, uh, yeah, intelligently, yeah. So this way, um, the whole system uh, can quickly produce um, uh, a lot of fish. Um, even we are thinking about a um, way to not feeding them, you know. If, if we do it properly, maybe it's possible that we don't need to feed them uh, manually, uh, but there will, we set up a system that uh, the system taking care of the feeding part, right? Okay, but that's, uh, you know, up to, uh, uh, I mean, another session, you know, we need more sessions to discuss, you know, how to uh, build a system it's everything is designed everything is perfect you know, you know designed and then you just simply buy it add, add water and that's it right add water add soap and then you have um, uh, uh, a peach bar yeah you can uh, it's look like a peach uh, but uh, you can literally <laughs> even grow some peach tree small peach tree uh, on the top floor yeah Okay, so that's it. Um, hope you like it. Uh, um, if you have any question, make sure you ask. And um, uh, because I we understand this is new, right? This is so far ahead. You know, you know con comparing with whatever aquaponic system you are doing, right? And uh, so we'll do it. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, so uh, make sure you subscribe channel, uh, like our video so that our ranking can be improved, right? We need your help uh, that way. 
and ask questions, giving comments, you know, and that also help uh, to uh, get to make sure our video, uh, you know, got noticed by others. Yeah. Thank you. We'll see you next time.